In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where light from ancient stars dances across the cold canvas of space, one instrument now stands at the forefront of our quest for knowledge, the James Webb Space Telescope. This extraordinary machine, the most powerful space observatory ever built by humankind, has become the premier global beacon in space science. Its mission is ambitious, daring, and deeply profound. To explore the mysteries of our own solar system, to examine distant exoplanets orbiting stars far beyond our reach, and to unravel the complex structure of the universe itself, all while challenging our understanding of the role humanity plays in the cosmic story. Recently, scientists directed this technological marvel toward a distant star system located 120 light years away from Earth. What Webb saw there has left the astronomical community astonished. In the atmosphere of a distant world, believed to be an ocean-covered planet, Webb detected compelling signs of carbon-based molecules. These aren't just any molecules. They include methane and carbon dioxide, organic compounds that are considered crucial to life as we know it. This discovery represents more than a scientific milestone. It may offer our species the first real glimpse into a world potentially capable of supporting life beyond Earth. The planet in question is called K218b, an exoplanet orbiting a cool dwarf star in the constellation Leo. What makes this celestial body so captivating is not just its distance or its chemistry, but its classification. K218b falls into a category of planets that do not exist in our own solar system, somewhere in size between Earth and Neptune. This size range, sometimes referred to as subneptunes or mini-neptunes, is a mystery to astronomers, precisely because we have no local examples to study up close. According to NASA, K218b has a mass about 8.6 times that of Earth and a radius about 2.6 times larger. The surface is likely covered by a thick ocean, beneath a high-pressure icy mantle, wrapped in a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. In this complex layering of elements and extreme conditions, scientists believe the planet could potentially harbor alien life, or at the very least, be chemically primed for it. The discovery of methane and carbon dioxide is especially thrilling because, on Earth, such molecules are intimately linked with biological processes. Even more tantalizing is the possible detection of dimethyl sulfide, a chemical compound that, as far as we know, is produced only by living organisms on Earth. Here, it primarily comes from marine phytoplankton in our oceans. If confirmed, the presence of this compound in K218BS atmosphere would mark a groundbreaking step forward in the search for extraterrestrial life. However, scientists are cautious. The evidence for dimethyl sulfide is still tentative, and more observations are needed to validate its presence. Despite the excitement, astronomers are quick to point out that just because a planet lies in a star's habitable zone and shows signs of carbon compounds does not necessarily mean it is alive. The high-pressure ice mantle and the exact nature of its ocean remain unknown. Could the ocean be too rigid or chemically unsuitable to support life? Could it be completely sterile beneath layers of hostile conditions? These are the types of questions that keep planetary scientists up at night. The search for answers, however, is gaining momentum. The James Webb Telescope has managed to capture the most detailed atmospheric spectrum of a habitable zone exoplanet to date. This feat was made possible by studying how starlight from K218BS host star filters through the exoplanet's atmosphere during its transits. As K218B passes in front of its star, its atmosphere imprints unique chemical signatures on the starlight, signatures that scientists can decode. This technique, first utilized during NASA's K2 mission, has now been refined to unprecedented levels of sensitivity by the Webb telescope. And that's not all Webb has uncovered. Far beyond the confines of our galaxy, in a region of space billions of light years away, Webb has also made the earliest known detection of complex organic molecules. These molecules, similar to those found in Earth's coal, petroleum, and even smog, are technically known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. They are massive structures, consisting of dozens or even hundreds of atoms, and are anything but simple. That they were discovered in a galaxy that formed when the universe was only 10% of its current age is, to say the least, mind-blowing. Until recently, scientists believed it would take billions of years after the Big Bang for such complex molecules to form. 
but the light Webb detected began its journey a mere 1.5 billion years after the origin of the universe. Meaning these sophisticated chemical structures existed in the early universe far sooner than anticipated. This not only shakes the foundations of our cosmological models, but also opens a new chapter in our understanding of how quickly life's building blocks can emerge. The galaxy where these molecules were detected, SP41847, is already as massive as the Milky Way despite being ten times younger. Its stars have produced as much carbon and oxygen as those in our own galaxy. What's more, the molecules within SP41847 are not evenly distributed, a fact that continues to puzzle scientists. Are they forming in star-forming regions? Are they left over from previous generations of stars? Webb's detailed spectral imaging allows us to begin answering these questions in ways that were never before possible. And that brings us to perhaps the most profound implication of these findings. If the universe was capable of creating complex carbon-based molecules so soon after the Big Bang, and if potentially habitable ocean worlds exist just 120 light years from Earth, then what else is out there waiting to be discovered? How many other planets like K218b are quietly orbiting their stars, brimming with possibilities, wrapped in clouds of hydrogen and shrouded in mystery? These revelations challenge our assumptions. They force us to reconsider what it means to be alone in the universe. With every photon of light captured by Webb's golden mirrors, we are not just gathering data, we are peering deeper into the cosmic past, into the formative stages of galaxies, stars, and possibly life itself. The search doesn't end here. Scientists are already planning future observations using Webb's mid-infrared capabilities, which will help confirm the presence of dimethyl sulfide and provide even clearer views of K218BS climate. They are also scanning the skies for other transiting exoplanets with similar compositions, seeking the subtle signs of habitability and, perhaps one day, the irrefutable signature of life. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just a marvel of engineering. It is a time machine, a window into both our origins and our future. It is helping us map the cosmic web of existence, one star system at a time. And as it does, it teaches us to look upward, not just with curiosity, but with awe. The universe is vast, ancient, and filled with wonders we are only beginning to comprehend. From the hydrogen clouds of K218b to the aromatic hydrocarbons drifting in galaxies formed just after the Big Bang, we are witnesses to a grand story still unfolding. Each new observation adds another chapter, another clue, another step toward answering the greatest question of all. Are we alone? So, as we venture further into this cosmic ocean, armed with knowledge and guided by light, let us remember how far we've come and how much more there is to explore. The future of space science is not just about distant planets and ancient galaxies. It is about understanding who we are, where we come from, and where we might be going next. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cosmic insights. Like, share, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated as we follow the James Webb Space Telescope and humanity's journey into the stars.